Week 3 of Season of the Witch, forces of Zivu Arath have invaded Sabathun's throne world to confront the new hive god Eris Morn. Zivu wants to fight Eris, and we learn there may be nothing we can do to stop her. Let's discuss Zivu's war, her ancient battles, and new plan in the throne world. At the beginning of week 3, Zivu begins to confront Eris. Eris explains how she feeds on war, as she always has for billions of years. Eris has been planning to steal Zivu's tithes this whole time, but Zivu is changing things up a bit. Beloved acolyte, champion of violence, bearing tithes raw and sweet as bitten sores, a voice from the deep whispers. In your immortality, Eris Morn, may you never cease your demand for vengeance. I refuse. In time, I will destroy this hive form alongside the rest. Its power has no hold over me. Zibor Roth will not fall to might alone. Every clash of blades invigorates her. Even now, she feeds as she has fed since the first red cough, the first war song. Still, I savor every tithe. Their strength thrills me, and there are so many old debts to repay. But this is not the time. The cards speak of change. A ripple is cast. A great shadow rises from the sea of blood. Something is coming. Heading into the Spire, we confront forces of Zivu Arath who've begun to invade Sabathun's throne world. From the dialogue, Zivu basically sees Eris as her new hive sister. Eris has taken power and has begun to ascend herself. Zivu wants her to rise so they might fight to the death over and over again, like her siblings did in the past. She sees how Eris has taken down all her siblings and summons her to a court of war to fight herself. Helium drinkers, the Ammonites. We sounded their end with our blades. The Ecumene, the Harmony. They wailed in terror as we sang their extinction. Humanity has joined the chorus of our war eternal. What is she doing? Zilu Arath issues her challenge. You've really done it now. You need to chase Zivu's goons out of here before they take over. Guardian, press on. Eris Morn, leave me as Hive and send forth your brood. Have your liars pay tribute to their god so I may see her vengeance. Eris Morn. Your brood arms themselves with my brother's mantle. Your acolytes pay tribute by my brother's law. Feed your worm as I feed mine. I shall test my strength against your vengeance. We will have our times. You drove my sister to her throne, and she found true death by your comprehension. You my brother to his throne, and he fell as his children by your assiduity. And so you will fall. Come, my court is war, and you will find me there. We must drive Zebu Aroth from this place, or she will overrun the throne world and take the tithes I am owed. You crave as I crave. You love as I love. Prove yourself with your existence as I have proved my own. I will kill you over and over, forever and ever. Our war is as my brother's love. I ought. I am no sister to you. Eris Morn, you know that there is only war. You prove my logic true. Meet me in blood, 
match me in violence. How it broods will fade us with that tribute. Zivu Arath. When this is finished, you will turn and run, and your worm will gnaw at you as if you were a buried corpse. You will have no tribute then, and you will starve. This isn't over. Zivu will keep coming until she wins her war. We need to rethink our plan. No. Our plan needs no revision. Her presence proves its efficacy. We must press on. We can't fight her. But we can hold the line until a way forward is found. Guardian, proceed to the Witch Queen's wretched oubliette. Claim the tithes before Zivu Aroth takes them as spoils of her eternal war. I don't like this. You don't need to. Imaru, though, warns us of Zivu's power. As she's begun to invade the throne world, she's attempting to take these tithes for herself instead of Eris. Amaru explains how Zivu plans to slay powerful enemies Savathun has held for a long time. Sure, he doesn't like Eris, but she needs to get those tithes instead so he can do something about Zivu. So we head to the Oubliette. Alright, you're here. This is serious, so listen and listen good. Zivu Arath's forces got into the throne world. This wasn't part of the plan, but it's bad news for everybody. Savathun's been hoarding powerful creatures in those summoning pits for a long time. Partially to study, but also to keep them out of the hands of her sister. If Zivu is able to take that extra power for herself, forget it, we're all dead. You need to claim those tithes. I hate seeing it all wasted on that weirdo heiress, but it's better than the alternative. Time to get to work, hero. The boss was hoping it wouldn't come to this, but only amateurs rely on wishful thinking. Listen to this. If Zevil Arath learns what the Guardians are up to in my oubliette, she'll do what she always does. Attack. Lucky for us, her poor wrath water so eager to die. They'll make lovely tides, provided the Guardians survive long enough to collect them. When I discovered this spire, I saw heresy. A temple of the sky. I sought to destroy it. But now, I see truth. It is built on a foundation of death. A temple of the sword. Logic so pure. Even the warriors of the sky honor it. Our rituals are discovered by the eater of weakness. The god of the rotting sword. Zivu Arath. Show. That the logic of the sword is no longer the hives alone which wield. Your tributes sharpen a blade that would soon pierce the heart of war itself. Exalt me with your violence, as you have always done. Be back with reinforcements once Zivu's brood is assembled. Sometimes I think the boss believes in you more than her own brood. She left this for you. If the Guardians survive my sister's assault, it will be on account of their ferocity, not their clemency. Zivu Arath will be thrilled. The Guardians will claim self defense, of course, but that self deception will only work for so long. Eventually, they'll have to admit, they live by the sword as much as my sister does. <laughs> it's so nice when the people we love all get along, don't you think? Back at the helm, Ikora speaks of the situation. Sabathun knew we couldn't defeat her sister. 
Eris kind of understands this and we need to make a new plan, but for now she says we'll continue the path. Amaru furthers this line of thinking by showing us a recording. The Ammonites had the Traveler, a Leviathan, and even the Light themselves, but still failed to conquer Zivu. How could we survive her wrath? I can hardly believe the tactical reports I'm writing. Vanguard forces, pursuing tithes to hive commune Eris Morn, have engaged Zivu Arath's troops in Savathun's throne world. We are caught between the sister gods of combat and lies, and we're trying to resurrect the one who's caused us the most suffering. Even if we win, we lose. We accepted an impossible bargain. Savathun knew we couldn't defeat Zivu Arath. No one can win a battle against war itself. Eris understands this better than any of us. I know she's working on a plan, but I must still prepare for unexpected outcomes. If her transformation is influencing her judgment, how would I know? What could I even do to keep her safe? Guardian, be careful. We've lost so much to the Hive already. We can't let them take any more. Billy taking on Zivu Arath's top general. I love watching you do our dirty work. I was digging through Savathun's archives. I found this little gem from about a million years ago. I figured you should know what you're up against. For the first time, the Ammonites broke us. Hordes of my rotting in tribute. And the fetter of weakness was upon us. But our enemies have made stars of their own. Their cruel will abandon the battlefield to attend their frail Leviathan. They would live in peace without first killing death. We shall reward their insolence without mercy. Go forth, my So there you have it, Guardians, a little recap of the events of Season of the Witch, Week 3. It's nice to sort of switch things up from the previous seasonal models. We get a little mission, little different activities to throw in there. And it really is hard to predict with all these hive gods who's going to come out on top. If you'd like to see some more Destiny lore and mysteries just like this video, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. Anyway, I thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video.